Hi, everybody classy's doing so well that now I'm gonna start working on getting her into some uncomfortable obstacles and stuff. And oddly enough, the horses are the most nervous around civilization and buildings. So we came down to mom and dad's farm because she's not used to the sights down here. And I'm just gonna look for obstacles and challenges to give her. Um, the first thing I'm thinking, there's a family of ducks over here that mom's got on the pond she's never seen before. I'm going to ride her down to those ducks and see how she acts. And I'm just going to find things she doesn't want to do and ask her to do them until she starts getting some confidence. For those of you who can read body language, she's getting a little nervous seeing some new sights down here and I give her a good strong pat on the neck um, to kind of break that th thought pattern there of being worried or looking at stuff. Physical touch is a good way to get their mind off of what they're looking at. There's a lot of rhetoric lately about not patting a horse because they're so sensitive. That is malarkey. Um, patting a horse is a good way to get them just, you know, kind of break out of the mindset of looking towards something and to get them to relax and sigh. And I'm just spending a lot of time here taking her around these obstacles. Anything she looks at, I'm going to make her go around. And uh, now I'm expecting a big reaction out of these, out of the ducks with her, but she, she handles it very well. J.R. <laughs> You're so silly. Well, Classy did better than me. What some of you don't know is that Emery has a slight bird phobia, so she's probably mad at me for running them ducks towards her. Also, that bank is steeper than it appears on camera. The steepness of hills and banks is never represented very well in film. If a horse will lower its head around you, and, and especially if it'll lower its head and drink water, you know it's in a calm state of mind. That's pretty good for a young horse that's just started. There's something about the smells and sounds inside of a chicken house that normally scare young horses. <laughs> Checking for eggs, Classy. She did real well with the chicken house, so I moved on up here to the tractor implements. All of these bobcat buckets and different appurtenances usually scare horses, but she handled it very well. Okay, another thing I thought that I've never tried on her yet, I've been riding her April, May, June, July, three months that she's been broke. Quiet, and I have not tried a canter yet or a lope because oh. um, I've just been letting her build her muscles up to be able to carry my weight so uh, she's getting pretty strong now so I might go out here and just try a little bit of speed and see what she does Very happy she picks up a very natural canner and it just feels really smooth and good. Um, I won't work on that a whole lot until um, later on in the year, but I'm glad to know that it's there and that it didn't bother her to do it.
I just love her walk. It reminds me of why the breed slogan is to ride one is to own one. That's the Missouri Foxtrotter breed slogan. Being a little extra deliberate with the reins today also, because I forgot to mention this is her one of her first days in her big girl bridle. So I've switched from the training bit to a uh, regular curb Good bit girl. today. <laughs> we kind of get into a test of wills here. She has no idea what I want her to do, but she was handling all the obstacles so well, I had to find something to get her out of her comfort zone so that we could experience some growth together. Walk up. She started to once. Mm -hmm. Good girl. Good girl, Classy. There you go. Good job. Get up there. Good girl. <laughs> that took a little bit. Good girl, Classy. Okay, back up. Back up. Back. 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 Persistence is key, and some people may think it's silly for me to start, you know, a fight with her on something like this that's so insignificant but these things is are what lead to plateaus in your training getting her over an obstacle working through a problem she was a 10 times better horse the next day after this lesson <laughs> For all the horse lovers out there that have never rode a gated horse, and specifically a Missouri Foxtrotter, this right here is why I say they're the best trail horse in the world. Classy travels absolutely amazing, and she is a joy to ride. I wish everybody could experience riding a horse like Classy someday. But thank you for watching. Keep up with her progress, and we'll see you next time.